Hello guys, welcome back to another video and this time we are doing the ROM review for our UU Eureka and this time we are doing ROM review for our UU Eureka and this ROM is Euphoria ROM developer of this ROM is Anav Gosain uh, I will provide the links for his thread in the U, U forums and uh, this is the June 22 build which is now I am reviewing and there is already a new update arrived for this and th which is just uh, nothing but just updated to the revision 5 of uh, lollipop 5.1.1 which is latest which is latest so this version is 5.1.1 uh, revision 3 and the one which is updated is 5.1.1 revision 5 so if you want to download the latest one just i will provide links for both of them so if you want the june 22 or june 27 i will prefer you to uh, download the june 27 as there is no such changes but it is updated to revision 5 so it's better to update to the uh, newer version so now let's talk about this room uh, the only word to describe this room is smoothest room that's the only way i want to describe it it is the best room available right now for our Eureka. There is one room also, one room named uh, SOKP, Sonic Open Kung Project. It is also the best room for our Eureka. But the thing I am facing is there are some bugs and some lagginess I am facing on the newer build. So that's why I shifted again to Euphoria. First I uh, flashed June 22 build of Euphoria. Then I flashed the SOKP revision 5 version of SOKP. Then I found some bugs here and there, and it was a bit laggy. So I decided to go revert back to Euphoria June 22. So the when the first time I installed uh, Euphoria June 22 build, there were no issues for me, no dialer force closes, no LED bug issues, nothing was there for me. But when I uh, flashed the second time, now I'm, what I am facing is sometimes what happens is whenever a call uh, arises, whenever a calls come, call come, it is only showing me in the notification panel, not showing me in the full screen, which I can't attend that call. And whenever I try to attend the call, like the like it shouldn't stop recording and show touch. But whenever a call come, it always shows cancel or answer. Whenever I uh, tap on answer, it uh, never try to connect me to the person who is calling me and after two seconds it shows unfortunately dialer has been stopped so these are force closes and this is the force closes which i am facing like uh, in two to three days one or two dialer force closes are there for me so it's not a big issue for me uh, because i don't do that much of calling and if you do that uh, if you do too much calling means four to five hours a day then also it's not a problem because it won't be showing every minute of uh, every minute when you call dial your number it is just uh, some time it shows like that so uh, that's about the dialer the call quality via uh, headphones and speaker is crisp so no worries on that and if you are if you want to listen to music and want some effect then you can uh, have audio effects and you are if you are not okay with audio effects then you have power amp or you have uh, Dolby Digital, Dolby Atmos, or you have uh, V4A, Vipaphone Android, which is the best. So that's your preference. Whichever you want to install, you can use it. Uh, it will definitely work flawlessly. Uh, right now, I'm on a June 22 build with no custom kernel. Uh, this is the stock kernel. Let me show you. Let's go to about. And as you guys can see, 5.1.1. Uh, this is a 22nd uh, version. And kernel is a Samsung mod. This is not a custom custom kernel. So uh, I am facing kernel. Oh sorry, I am facing LED bug bug also means LED is not blinking even if I am charging my device also. Whenever I plug the charger, then also the LED is not blinking. And if I receive any kind of notification, then also LED never blinked. So this is the bug uh, I am facing with this uh, room. But you have a solution for that if uh, led is not working then you can go to display and light and just just enable this ambient display so what it will do if you enable this i know i'm not enabling it because i don't have much battery left so if you enable this ambient display what it will does is whenever a new notification arrive 
um, it will open the display for two to three seconds so that you can see the notification and after that it will uh, automatically go away so it's like uh, um, it's like I don't know the name for the Moto X light effect uh, so it's a kind of Moto X type of effect and it is the lollipop uh, feature of ambient display so you can do that otherwise if you want led only you want to work with our eureka then what you can do is uh, install a custom kernel like there are so many kernels like accelerate kernel sandy kernel god uh, audio god kernel lightning kernel razor kernel there are so many kernels for a eureka that's why it's a developer phone that's what i like about my eureka and if you want to install any uh, if you want the led bug to be solved you what you need to do is just install a custom kernel after that i will provide the links for the custom kernel and a universal fix for the for that but uh, before flashing the universal fix for led bugs what you need to do is to install a custom kernel it will support only custom kernels it won't support stock kernel so if you flash directly on this stock kernel it won't be doing anything and led bug will be there then also so that's about the bugs I am facing right now. Uh, so let's go and see what other features provided in Euphoria Room. So now basic features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM cards. Both SIM cards are pro, uh, both SIM cards are uh, open. Uh, more tethering and portable hotspot is available. Sounds in sound like SIM one sound, SIM two sound, vibrate for call. This is some basic settings which you always get in every room i must say that display light this is the feature which is available light live display ambient display which is not present in cm12 so if you want to use this kind of features do use led lcd density you don't need to go to es file explorer and change the system file so to get uh, like you just need to change it like i don't do i can't do it right now because i'm doing the screencast so you can change it if you want notifications interruptions heads up notifications so you can disable also them so if you don't want heads up notification you can directly disable it from here only then you have a uh, lock screen and lock uh, buttons you can enable navigation and this is the best thing about this room it uh, whenever you enable the navigation bu buttons the hardware buttons totally get disabled which on some rooms it is not working it is like if you enable the on-screen buttons on-screen as well as hardware keys are working so this is the best thing about this one that if you enable the on-screen hardware will definitely be disabled so that's a good point of this room so now let's go and talk about the best uh, the thing which all everyone wants to know about the battery life of this room uh, I must say that battery life is a in the good not bad but good it is better than stock room stock official Anogen OS 12 but not as great it is like that uh, if you flashed it on June 22 I flashed it on June 22 so uh, on that I got around 7 hours of SOT screen on time without any custom corner let me show you that let me go to gallery Okay, screenshots let me show you uh, by the way this is a Iron Man theme for our Eureka so I will be making a new video on best themes for our CM12 uh, which will be provided within three to four days so this kind of backup which I am getting like 6 or 48 minutes 6 or 12 minutes 7 hours 6 or 32 minutes this kind of battery life of, of, I always used to get uh, in 2 to 3 days so 2 to 3 days you will get around 6 uh, 6 30 6 hours 30 minutes 7 hours for the first day it will be around 7 to 7.5 hours then it will uh, decrease to 6 30 hours then 6 hours now what I am getting why I am not uh, uh, plug the charger in so that you can see the battery life what the battery life is uh, there in euphoria room so let's see what is the battery life right now so as you can see with almost medium usage like whatsapp youtube and facebook and chrome all the time i use this so let me show you the screen 
right now the screen is 5 hours 11 minutes so it decreased day by day but uh, minimum of 5 hours you will be definitely getting but that is also you are getting on cyanogen was still so why should you uh, convert to euphoria why should you upgrade to euphoria rom not cos just because no kind of lag you will find on this rom that's the best thing about this rom that's why i'm uh, on this rom for at least uh, now seven days Otherwise, what I do is I always try to get three rooms a day. Three rooms a day, I check the rooms. What kind of uh, experience I'm getting on this kind of room. So this is the only room which I have tested for seven days. And after seven days, I'm producing this review. Uh, that is June on, on June 29, I'm producing this review. And I must say that this is the best custom room available for your UU uh, UU Cup, which has uh, almost two to three bucks and okay okay battery life but the smoothest of all that is the best thing about this so the next room which i am going to review is exodus uh, room and one thing i also want to tell you about uh, about the camera if you want to know about the camera quality the camera quality is just fine with all with all custom rooms you get only one camera which is this which is kind of look like uh, which is, which looks like the uh, Google camera so I hate this camera a lot but, but as I'm a selfie person I used I always want to have selfies so I use candy camera and I have many more apps which I haven't installed yet so like b612 uh, beauty plus then and candy camera these are the uh, apps that I always use so use this kind of app if you want to have some pictures because after getting a picture you always try to get some filter on it so why don't you have a filter camera app that you can easily take pictures with so i don't use camera but if you want some camera app then uh, i will provide the link for the stock gallery and stock camera if you want that but i don't like the stock camera and gallery so i don't use it that's the only thing so i have covered display audio quality um, call quality battery camera any other thing you want to know uh, if you uh, otg is uh, of course enabled in the otg is enabled if you plug in the otg it will definitely work but there is no option like in kitkat to uh, unmount the usb otg there is no option in this room also and this is not the official launcher that day that you will be getting let me show you the launcher that you will be definitely getting with the device when you first flash this room uh, let me go to okay wait I right now I'm using Nova launcher I really like this Nova launcher because just because it has this uh, KitKat kind of transparent theme and you can change the uh, height and width of the icons that's the best thing about Nova launcher you have apex launcher also but Nova has more features than that that's why I use Nova mm. and the rating is also better on Nova so it's a suggestion from my side use nova launcher to have the best experience for launchers stock launchers if you want so let's go to nova launchers and uh, just a minute select default launcher like if you use this is the default launcher you will get while you flash it so as you can see i really don't like this kind of stuff the icons are so big and the default ppi right now is 320 and you can see the difference on 320 dpi the uh, icons are so big on this official stock launcher but if you change it to nova launcher which i am going to do right away so now as you can see the icons have been changed and effects have been changed so if you apply the basic launcher there is no customization in that also so it is less customizable room uh, in, uh, in comparison to SOKP there are less features but I must say it is better than that right now it is the smoothest room from all the custom rooms available right now which I have tested like I have tested bliss I have tested restrictions I have tested team UB and many more rooms the next room which I am uh, gonna test and review will be exodus room 
so wait for the review and thanks for being with me thanks for watching this video uh, if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel my channel name is kavaldeep uh, and i will be meeting you in the next one till then this is frankie signing off thanks for the review thanks for watching guys it really helps the channel thanks